one thing that I would encourage you to think about in interviewing is to do your homework. You should research the business or the ministry that you're going to be interviewing with. I remember uh, one interviewee that we had coming to our church and throughout the interview they mispronounced the church's name all the way through the interview. A very fine candidate but it was just a little irritating that they couldn't get our name right. Here at Trinity, I did the research on Trinity. Trinity's 112 years old. Uh, I didn't know all the history, but I spent a lot of time reading through and understanding the history and the DNA and the, the very uh, feel of the institution before I started interviewing. So then when I was asked questions, I could put them in historical perspective, but I could also show and demonstrate that I'd done my research very well. In addition to doing that, I also researched other universities. I researched 12 other Christian universities to see where Trinity was strong, where it was not strong, where it could improve, and that really helped me as well. So many hours of research before you uh, interview is always critical. Come dressed for success. Remember that we assume you're putting your best foot forward, and if you come to the interview sloppy, and that we assume that that's your best foot. Um, when you come into the interview, be careful while you're waiting. Um, my secretary often had a lot to say about the candidates while they were waiting to come into the interview process. Leave your cell phone in the car. Your dress, uh, your attire is conservative. Uh, you want to make sure you have something that, that, that deals with confidence and power. So maybe a red tie or something like that, or a tie that incorporates red. And for the most part, you want to make sure that your suit uh, kind of falls in line with either blue or black. You don't want to really try too much gray or brown or beige or white. You want to stick with blue or black. And if it's blue, preferably dark navy blue. So you want to be as conservative. You want to really look like a politician. Uh, that's how politicians dress uh, when they, you know, they're doing their thing. That's a good way to dress. I know this may shock and it may overwhelm some of you, but if you have earrings in your ear, guys, or nose earrings in your ears, uh, nose ladies, take those out. Uh, there will be a time at some point when you understand and recognize the culture, and if that's permittable to bring and to have as a part of that culture, bring it. But for your interview, I would leave those items at home. Okay, so what I've learned about interviewing. Um, when you're interviewing, of course there's all the basic stuff. You should smile, you should um, be confident, you should uh, be yourself, and be relaxed. Uh, first, when you go into an interview, uh, one of the first questions is going to be, why do you want this job? And so, a question of motivation. Uh, a couple things not to say that I've either said or uh, heard said to me as an interviewer are, one, uh, to make money. Uh, that is a given, okay? The, the, the fact that you're there interviewing means that you are seeking gainful employment, that you need money. They don't need to hear that. And secondly, uh, don't say that you're interviewing for the job because you're, you're not really sure what you want to do, you're unsure of your future, or you're not sure why you want the job in the first place. And so I think my advice in terms of looking for a position would be to, if something interests you, even if you think you're technically not qualified, um, to go ahead and go for it and take a risk. Also, even if you don't get the job, it's a great opportunity to practice interviewing and to learn what kinds of questions employers ask so that you're better prepared for the next time around. I know when I used to be a hiring manager, I'd be the one I'd say, tell me a time when you really had to deal with a frustrating person, and then I'd let them talk about what that person was. And my follow-up question was always, what did you do to make it work? My encouragement to you is to be authentic and to represent yourself accurately throughout the interview process. I'm going through this interview process, and I was actually called back for a second interview, and everything is going well, and they actually offer me the job. And we've been talking about a number of different skill sets that I have, but when it came time to offer me the job, I started to panic. I was afraid, oh my goodness, do they think I actually know something about computers or about accounting software? And so I just said, um, just so we're clear, before I accept this job, I know absolutely nothing about computers, 
nothing about technology, and nothing about accounting software. And their response to me was, we know, Anne, we're not hiring you for those skills. We're hiring you for other ones. Go ahead and Do I introduce myself or anything? Yeah, sure. Okay. Might as well. I can cut it out if you need to. Yeah. Hi, I'm Greg. Leaper? I don't know. Yeah. Sorry to be <laughs> You're just going to keep it rolling, huh? Okay. Yep. Maybe this can be in the outtakes. The outtakes version. Uh, let's, let's stop. Start all over. <laughs>